Hi guys, it's Julie and Dat Guy and Mike, and we are back for part two of our thrifting challenge that we started last week and it ended abruptly. Sorry about that. <laughs> but we needed to get to a lot more thrift stores to try to complete this list. We did find our glass item. As you recall, it is the uh, the Last Supper. I'll put it up, I'll put a picture of it right here. So we got that checked off. But we are still looking for a porcelain item. Pottery, fall, Halloween, Christmas, and as a bonus, a jewelry item. So are you ready to go to Ecotown? Hi, we're Julie and that guy Mike. We started thrifting together for fun, for adventure, and to see what vintage treasures are out there in our local Southern California thrift stores. Now come along and let's see what new exciting things are on the shelves. It's another thrifting video and we love taking you with us. This is not a store that we come to very often because they generally are pretty pricey, but we're just looking to stick to our list maybe get one or two things and we're gonna see how many stores it takes us to complete this challenge. He's ready. So Ecotown has a lot of collectibles and the way that they get their donations is actually you can bring your things here and they will give you cash and then they mark it up for resale. So as you can see, you have a lot of higher price, collectible price items usually in these front shelves but they do have more of a lower price, more like thrifting shelves in the back. So let's get down there after I gaze at these amazing $1,000, $3,000 purses here. Oh, their jewelry is pretty stock too, but again, usually pretty pricey. I just had to show this beautiful Swarovski yellow tulip. So pretty. There's a $200 Mickey in there. Would you like to see what a $500 and $600 Versace sippy cup looks like? <laughs> there you go. I am sometimes tempted by the purses here, but like I'm looking, I see things for $80, $60. So again, I'm going to keep walking. Mike, we may have found a contender. <laughs> not your monkeys, not your monkeys. This Look how adorable this trinket box is. And I can put a little duck trinket inside that I have to make it a real, a real live trinket box. And it's only $3, $3. I love how old it is. And um, it looks like it's, you know, it's got a few little issues with the paint, but I could either touch it up or just sell as is because it's vintage. Sure. But we could check off probably porcelain item for okay. this one. We'll do and that I th I think after it... we purchase it then. Oh, okay. You want to just hold off. Oh, He's Just, just he... in case we find them. He's very careful since we can only check off one, one. item per category. So yeah. we will hold on to it and see what else. I mean, I think it. I think your monkeys are cute too, though. It, it They're very cute. Yes, three monkeys. <laughs> three little monkeys. Did you see this? Did I say wood? Yes, you said wood. No. You didn't say wood. I didn't put wood on here. You didn't here. say wood. No. Porcelain didn't. pottery. I meant to put wood. Well, you did. Well, let's see. Do let's it. see how much this guy is. $12. Not bad. Very, very pretty. But I didn't put wood. I'll and you did that on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose? You did it on purpose. I'm so curious about this fan right here. Oh, I don't think I should do this by myself. Okay. Oh, it's going. It's going. <laughs> it has been hot. I think we've got 
purple on the other side. Oh, wow. Pretty. Okay. I have never seen this and I am going to have to pick that up for Sadie. She's doing her own channel soon, but not too soon. And I think I'll grab that for her. I'm putting this back because it's kind of open so it's not like such a mystery. And you, now I don't know if all the parts are in there since it's been open. And I stuck my nose in there. This scented perfume smells terrible. This is their version of baggy walls. And this might be a great place for me at some point to look for things to make hat pins out of. For example, I see this little fuzzy rabbit. I could definitely make a hat pin out of that. But it's not quite the right season for this. I'll, I will consider if I want to hang on to this, but I'm kind of, there's so many to look through. And they're stacked like five or six deep on each little row. They're, they are fun to look at. Look at this little tiny purse. Probably from like a Bratz doll or some sort of surprise box. There's every every little creature. You know, most of them are not going to work for hat pins because they're very character oriented. But you never know if I find just the right thing. Yeah, if anyone wants me to make like Pokemon hat pins, <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter hat pins or other various anime characters. <laughs> this is the place to go for that. Wow. Quite a great way to sell all their little tiny donated things. Just want to show you this Dooney and Burke Disney princess bag. $150. This is fair condition. One of the back corners is damaged. Still 150. Isn't this Kate Spade just so classic pink tweed? It's very Barbie, very Barbie core. And here we have a very large vase on a rolling cart with an umbrella. You look so beautiful in the sunset. Thank you. <laughs> Mike, we're running out of time. Yes, we are. And we only found one thing on our list, one. but it's cute. It's a cute one. You know, I recently sold the rubber ducky shaker that I made. I'll put a picture of it right here. And maybe my friend who got that will want to get this little rubber ducky piece as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and check off porcelain. It's not okay. the finest porcelain in the world, but oh, my, my pin is either running out or doesn't like to write on that material. Okay. So how excited are you about that? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Our total spin was three dollars. Three dollars. <laughs> right, let's go. I love it. We're just enjoying some of the Huntington Beach sunset here today. Ooh. Um. Anyway, we're going to store number three, which is actually going to be Savers. The, um, besides the place we were just at, this is really one of the only thrift stores in the area that sells jewelry or like has a jewelry counter inside of the thrift store so this is probably our last hope for checking off jewelry off our list uh -huh. but other than that this is also usually a high priced place at least for resellers that's true I just have to tell you the cutest story about this restaurant over here when my daughter I'm not gonna say which one was very young and we said we're gonna go to Papa Z's. From then on, she called it Papa Zits. Papa, Papa Zits. <laughs> so cute. We never corrected her. I think she still thinks it's called that. It's still called Papa Zits. But who wants to go to a restaurant called Papa Zits? <laughs> we do. Okay, we you do. You do. Yeah, he likes it. He likes it. Ooh, let's see. Gray? Gray tags. That's a new one. Oh, silver. Okay, silver tags. Do you want to grab? I mean, we don't need a cart. <laughs> We're definitely not filling up a cart. But here's, here's the jewelry counters. Let's see.
Okay, according to Fisher, I just found a sick piece of jewelry. <laughs> Do you guys know who this is? This is Betsy Johnson. So I think we found our jewelry item. There's the B and the J, and it is $8.49, not on sale, but probably a pretty good price for that. Thank you, Sweet. Fisher. Yeah. And then I did grab another alternative, but I can only get one. So I hope, sorry, I don't mean to yank that out like that. Oh, it's so small, it's hard to film, but this is the one I'm putting back. I hope I'm not making a mistake. $12.99, but going with the Betsy Johnson. Okay, I have a whole aisle of trinkets to look at here. Although I don't really need any more porcelain or glass, but how beautiful is this? That is, that's a passionate kiss right there. I love this. Somebody made that. Some artist made that, and that's just a love story right there. That is absolutely beautiful. But again, I didn't put wood on the list. I'm starting to regret that deeply. Okay, let's see if we can find anything else along the shelves here. I'll stop if I see something I want to look closer at. Love this. Oh, wow. Let's see what it says. Made in India. That is too cool. How much? Oh, they have 25. Yeah, of course they do. It savers. Very, very neat piece there. I don't think I have metal on my list either. Okay, let's keep looking. At this point, I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. I think pottery. Oh, I know. Christmas, fall, I probably need to get to the Christmas aisle. I should have done things like cats, although that one is very cracked. I don't think we're gonna find Christmas, fall in here. Maybe pottery. Wow, that's a big duck. <laughs> that is a huge duck with glasses on. I wonder if this is a just ducky brand thing. I sold like a little a little ducky, although she had a porcelain face, but it reminds me of the same style with like homemade clothing. I do want to see who you are. Are you anyone? Sorry, lady, sorry. Not marked anywhere, too bad. Oh, the baggy wall. I just love the baggy wall. I, I'll probably make you dizzy if I film the whole thing, so how about I stop every once in a while if I find something irresistible like like this tiny little kitty coin bank but I don't think such high value there is a little turtle in there a little turtle turd not not a turtle turd sorry just a turtle just a turdy no that doesn't sound right either a uh, little Dalmatian in there um, okay we have fall whoa we have a lot of interesting flesh-toned skeletons in here. Okay, I can't resist showing you guys some of these things, but how sad. I'm sure that wasn't broken before it was put in the baggie. There's a little baby-themed trinket box there, but not, not anything on our list there. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. This looks interesting. Oh no, these are more baby themed things. A baby stroller, a big baby binky trinket. That is hilarious. I know all around the country people call those different things. We call them binkies. Is that, that looks like a really Jim Shore-ish kitty cat right there. Hold on. Who makes you? What are you, what is in here? I've got a trinket box in there as well, or a, obviously a heart box. But that cat interests me. How much? $7.99 savers. I guess it's not bad for how many things you're getting, but I really, I really not interested in anything but that Jim Shore-ish looking cat. Does, doesn't that look too like Jim Shore? I'm gonna Google this.
Oh, and before I do, doesn't he look like a fall themed item? I would say absolutely his harvest basket of apples and his colors. Yes. When I turned him around, I realized there's a beautiful pumpkin right there. So, yep, a fall themed item. Let's go tell that guy Mike and let's check it off. I'm very excited about this. And a few extra silly little fun little things as well. Would you like to see my fall item? Maybe. What does that look like right there? It looks like a disemboweled cat. But it kind of looks like a... I'm sorry. <laughs> but what does it look like? It looks like a cat with a beard. But it looks like it's a gym shore. Doesn't it? I mean, I don't know if it is, but be very careful. They're all clinging around inside of there. And look at a binky trinket. <laughs> and a stroller. Yes. Oh. No. I got to check off fall item. What? No, not until we pay for it. Oh, okay. When we pay for it, then we do it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cause then By the way, I found jewelry while you were away. So, I'll show you in a moment. Okay. Okay, now that my hands are free, I saw another fun little bag here. I like that little carousel horse. Some... Is it like Polish little ramekins? Polish pottery ramekins? What's this book? The best things in life begin with P. Oh, these are fun baggies today. What is this? We've got a little precious moments picture, something Santa, Christmas is love, a ornament. I think this is an ornament bag. Oh, a decapitated little thing. And a little book, the Polar Express ornament. Interesting. But I'll keep looking. Let's see what's in here. What do we got? Oh, things are. Things are falling out the back. Look. It's a diamond. It's a blue diamond. Another Christmas potential here. We got a baby Spider-Man. We got a little Seize Candy tin soldier. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, some. I got my fall thing. Kind of excited about that little... Jim Shore, Sarah's Attic, things in here, heavy little bag. Hmm. Oh, people are popping these open. I feel like they're taking things out of here. Mm -hmm. I've seen like three bags that have been popped open, Mike. How are okay. you doing? I have a problem. Okay, let me see what you have a problem with. Wow, that's a lot of ornaments. A lot of ornaments. Right. All right. Yes. A lot, of, a lot of ornaments, right? Yeah, that's a lot of ornaments. There's nothing in the boxes. They're just you know boxes. What? You know what? People do look for boxes for their vintage ornaments, believe it or not. Especially that keepsake collection, the miniatures. So, if a reseller could list those boxes. Oh my gosh, but they have 25, 25 bucks on them? Bucks on no, that's a reseller could not do that. Maybe someone bucks. will come in who needs those exact combination of boxes and is willing to pay... 25. I wonder what's more likely to happen, that or winning the lottery? <laughs> you think the lottery? And then here it is. Okay. Stencil spray. Stencil spray. 50 cents. 50 so cents. that should be a dollar fifty. Okay. Should be a dollar because you should get a discount. So like a dollar fifty. Okay. All right, turn Six it around. Six bucks. Wow. Vintage markup. Okay. Let's cross our fingers. We're gonna find something incredible and Christmassy in this very stuffed shelves of Christmas items here. All right, again, I'll stop if I see something worth stopping for. All right, that's gotta be a just ducky right there. You look just ducky. Okay, you're just made out of a paper. No, you're not just ducky. <laughs> a silly face. Look at this guy. I like that little Santa pail. Five forty-nine, but I think we could do better. I do. I like this Santa right here. He is so blinged out. Wow! Look at his little bells. This is adorable. Santa's got his little dingle bells. 
jingle bells, I should say. Uh, he's holding a little angel. Oh my gosh, $2.50. What a cute ornament. And it looks like it was a hallmark. Oh, I was say a hallmark at some point. Let's see what year. Um, I, can't, I can't tell what that says. I'm sure you can once I zoom in later on the larger screen. But I like this. I like this Santa ornament. He, he can't beat the price. Two fifty. I found a really cute Santa. Look at his little jingle bells. Oh, they're jiggly. Can you get this metal jack o' lantern thing down? All sorts of things in her hands. <gasps> Could that be a Halloween piece? I don't know. Well, let's see what it is. I get I get so excited sometimes. It is huge. It's, it looks like a metal but a bean bag. Wait. It's paper mache ish. Look at the little metal Jack Leonard bag. The little candy bag. Look at the bird. Look at his face. Look at the price. Let's check it out. Come on, be less than six. Oh my gosh. $5.99. It's less than six. <laughs> That's really, you know why I like it? It's very Halloween, but it's very not scary. It's very <laughs> joyful. Okay. So, Mike, I like it. You like it? All right. Let's go for it. All right. But again, I can't check it off until we check out. I guess they didn't like the choir director very much. Is this considered pottery? <laughs> I've sold this this cup before, but I had a set. It's tequila patron with the bumblebee. And I sold them super fast. A set of four. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Let's go see in the glass aisle if they have any other. Maybe we'll make an exception for pottery. Pottery-ish. <laughs> Is that allowed? Because we just can't find any pottery. All right, here he goes again. What? Light my fire, he says. Nope. He's... Oh, shoot. He does have life in him. What is he going to do? I don't know. As long as How... get naked. Okay. Happy Halloween, everyone. That is absolutely terrifying. It's the devil type right there. I don't like him. Good Goodbye. Goodbye. I like that piece of glass. That's such a pretty piece of glass. It is $6.49, not bad at all, but bigger than I want to deal with and not available on my list. Wow, what is that? That's like a swung glass margarita. <laughs> what in the world? I think that is a margarita glass. You want to get it done? I don't, where would you? No, maybe not. What am I thinking? It needs a straw? Is that a, it's a vase. What am I? I, th I guess because it's Mexican glass and they make margarita glasses that look like that. A swung glass margarita. $15.99. That's pretty cool. Big straw. We're just taking a closer look at this piece of glass. I'm going to turn it this way. Um, so it used to have something. 150 seals. Hmm. I, th I don't think it's flashed. I think that's blue glass. Does it smell like anything? If I hadn't found a piece of glass already, I would have gotten that. It's huge, but so beautiful. Okay, we officially paid. He hasn't even seen the jewelry yet. So we're, let's go with this one. This one is our Halloween item. And this... This guy is our Christmas item. We got our fall kitty cat in there, which I'm very excited about. Might be my favorite piece. Mm -hmm. And Mike. What? My jewelry item Ooh. is a Betsy Johnson necklace. Betsy Johnson. Mike's. <laughs> yes. So we got our bonus. Now, we did fail. We didn't get we we didn't find a pottery piece, so you know what that means. What? We might have to try one more store. <laughs> and yes, there is one more store open. It stays open until 9 p.m. If you can handle it, I, I, if you can handle it. Who stays open? Yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. go for it. 
I was just too excited about my baggie and I needed to know if there's trinkets in these. All right. No trinkets. No trinkets in the little bassinet. Well, it's a stroller, isn't it? Um, is it? Or it no? could be a, what do they call it? But you see the baby in there. Oh, it has a baby in there. That's cute. Um, a pram. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with the pram. All right. How about okay. the little binky? That's hilarious. It's a big binky. Okay, it is a big binky. No trinky? No trinky. <laughs> no trinky in my binky. All right, pull out that cat. I gotta see that cat. No, no we're gonna do something else. What? <laughs> I'm gonna do something else? You're taking so long. Uh, it's the anticipation. That's what it is. So we have. Oh. What is that? Let me see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we have a baby trinket. Like, not baby like the other baby, like small. Ah, I don't know what it is. Okay, it's not. It Doesn't that look like it has a hinge? Okay, I'm in the dark in the car at night, and that's just a little plastic cupcake. But it has. What else do you have? Oh, Does Mike, I got extra things that weren't on the list. Does it? Well, I'm okay. I'm gonna call it with the bag. It all came came with it. So let me see it. You're taking so long, Mike. I'm, I'm showing you. I cannot believe that is still intact after hanging in a bag and savers. It didn't look like no chips. So show me the inside. Oh, There's what? Some fall items. Yeah. Well, these look like little what? buttonholes or something like that. BL96. Some old apples. Okay, we got apples in there. What is that? More apples. More apples? And we got three bushels bushels of apples. Mike, show me the last thing, please. And, I really and, and we have a guy with apples. Oh my gosh. So the non trinket box had all the trinkets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there Random. Anything in the bag else in the bag? Nope. But let's take a look at what you wanted to get to. It's a cat. I love him. I don't think he's a trinket box. No, he's not a trinket box. What is he? He's a figurine. For what? <laughs> For what? Can someone help explain to that guy, Mike, that f what oh. figurines are for? What, no, what is this? For? His hook? He's hooking oh, his so apples. Hooking hook his apples. <laughs> I've never seen a hook in apples. Oh. What is that you see? Oh, look at his eyes. That's the look blue gives to me. What, when? When he's going to throw his apple at me. Or. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I... He's mischievous. Meow. Mike. Yes. A new concept. What? Night thrifting. Night thrifting. Now that you're back to work. <laughs> our videos are all going to be night <laughs> thrifting <laughs> if I want to go thrifting <laughs> with you. Okay. I might have to find pottery on my own. Unless you want to go one more place. Let's try one more place. Okay. Get it done. Come along with us. And while you are, this is a great moment while we're driving to our next store. It's going to be like that for you. Yep. Go ahead and press subscribe and follow us along. We would absolutely love to have you with us. In the snap of my finger, you'll be subscribed and we'll be at the next store. Ow. We literally have four minutes to go look. Well then. All right. We just really want to finish our list, so we are one of those horrible customers that come in right before closing. Maybe they're open till nine. Mike, I'm gonna get copyrighted for that. Wow, look at this. This is IKEA. No, it's Glass Line Italy. I thought it was IKEA. Oh, that's a pretty piece of glass for two ninety nine. I'm going to put this in another video so you guys don't know that I'm cheating on the list. Looking for pottery. Three minutes left till closing. These are really neat, but I don't think so. <laughs> no, not teapot. Not teapot. Darn it. Another pretty piece of glass, but not, not the highest quality. $1.99 though. Nice prices here. This is the new, the newest Goodwill in town. It's cute and unmarked. Are you guys rooting for us? There's only a couple minutes left. 
Is this cinnabar? Five bucks. I like that though. Ooh, do we have loose sight grapes? Ooh, rubber, rubber grapes. Okay. Also, my my hat pin projects don't count. I'm gonna put this in one of my hat pins. But I'm probably gonna wait till Valentine's. Yes. <laughs> okay, Mike. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. California Perfume Company. It's 10th Avon anniversary. How do you open this? This has never been opened. Come on. No, it has. Let's just see what this is. Ah, it's a plate. Don't even. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Perfume. Okay. Something up here. Not exactly sure what material this is. It's Formica. <laughs> I wonder if there's any markings under there. Oh yes. Did you find some pottery? <laughs> oh my gosh, I dropped it out of it and guess what? It's plastic, so I was saved. <laughs> okay, this is made of epoxy resin. It's a mushroom um, propagation station, is that the word? I'm looking for, but I want to see what's in the crate and barrel box. Candles. Candles. Okay. There's a Bradley doll in the plastic mugs section. I always like to look at their shoes. <laughs> They're lighter than I remember. Made in Korea, $2.99. Nice condition. No, okay, she's different. She is foam. She is so lightweight. How strange. Why is she foam? I need to set her down somewhere. Oh my goodness. Look. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look her up. You guys, I'm about to do something not very nice, but I just have to do it. Look at this porcelain doll. Ooh. I'm gonna pay for something that we didn't how much how much did you think that that was a porcelain doll and that it was gonna break? Because you didn't have a reaction at all. I'm very disappointed. No, I'm I'm just a little, I'm a little worried. I'm, okay. was. I'm so mean. It's mm -hmm. foam. It's a Bradley doll that's foam. It's a Bradley doll that's foam. I've never foam. seen I don't know what a Bradley doll is. Oh, well, they're like big-eyed dolls. Oh, big eyeballs. Okay. But, um, look at her. Touch her fingers. Ew. You no, know, like, roll yeah. your... F like, play her fingers like a comb. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I... Uh, I'm gonna get her for two nine. Wait. I'm putting this in another video again so they don't know I'm cheating. I don't need her. Okay, I'm gonna look up her comps. Okay, leaving this lady here. Um, there's a lot listed, and I'm just unsure if she'll stick around for a long time, but only $2.99. Oh, I'm so torn. Guys, I can't, I can't put her back for $2.99. I'll never find her again for $2.99. And she's... She's nice. You want to like her? Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Mike. I don't want to touch it. Okay. <laughs> oh. What is he doing? Okay, so they close at 8.30. <laughs> Down to the last minute here. I had no idea what you were doing. That was so strange. Julie. Yes. What is this? It's Daniel Boone's footstool or Daniel Boone's cat bed. No. It's nasty. It's a pumpkin. Oh gosh. A moldy pumpkin, I think. I don't like that pumpkin. <laughs> Sorry, whoever <laughs> thought of that and then it ended up in Goodwill on the shelf. <laughs> By the way, I am putting the perfume bottle back. I'm trying. I'm trying not to be bad. 
Not that it's bad. I'm just trying to be practical. Not that it's not practical. <laughs> trying to not get too many things. What? Absolutely not. No. Okay. We're naughty. We're getting three things. Three illegal things. Not on the list. Not on, not on the, the list. list. So Mike added. He's he's just as guilty. It's Ghostbusters. And so it's Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> and she's scary to you, so she's Halloween. Oh sure. Oh Mike put his truck back. Okay, we're gonna use a card. I'm so sorry about your truck. He said it was fifteen dollars for the truck, so he. He didn't get his ghost poster, so I am the only one that got illegal things. Well, we'll just say you got the doll. I didn't get this doll. <laughs> okay, the hearts? Uh, I'll the get little... the hearts. Okay, Aww. Uh, for you. Thanks, for Mike. You, you gotta be a accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> it is so dark, Mike. It smells and... like soap out here, too. Okay, why do all the thrift stores smell like soap? I think we're out too late. All right. The delusional. There's our haul, plus the one glass item we got from the first video. You have to go back to watch that. Very exciting, very exciting video. Mm -hmm. And I'll have to give our score here. So we got six out of seven. What is that, like a 87%? I'm just gonna put our score right here. We didn't get 100%, but that's okay. We're not going to fool it. We're not, <laughs> We're not going to fool it? Oh, Lord. I'm fool so it. tired. We're old parents, yes. thrifters. I mean, and we're night riding tonight. Yes. Don't turn on your night rider song again. You're going to get me copyrighted. Nah, I'm not going to. Okay. Mike, it was fun. It's I fun. really enjoyed it. Yep. And let's shut this down just like our, our video. Like something you saw? Shop our store at onewayvintageshop.com. There you can view all our amazing collections and recent finds. Or join us for our live sales Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific on the Niche Shopping Network.